This is the Star Wars VR game you're looking for. Or is it? Today on BMF, we're checking out Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge that just launched yesterday for $24.99 on the Oculus Quest platform. Tales from the Galaxy's Edge puts you into the world of Star Wars, and it's based on the attraction of the same name at Disney World and Disneyland. In this game, you'll be jumping to the planet of Batuu as a normal droid technician sucked into the world of smuggling and defending yourselves from a slew of aliens. Does the game live up to the hype? Does it live up to Vader Immortal that came out last year. Is the price a good price for the amount of content that you get? Those are all things I want to cover today on the episode. In fact, today is going to be a more expanded format than I usually do. I'm going to show some gameplay first, then I'm going to jump in and show some Quest 1 versus Quest 2 footage and talk about that, and then I want to give my thoughts on the game, the value, and what I like and what I don't like. So let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay, but first, I gotta go change. There's no way in heck I'm playing in this thing. I almost tripped over myself just getting in front of the camera, so I don't know how in the world the Jedi actually fighting these things. I'm gonna change. Let's jump to some gameplay. All right, here we are inside of Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. We're a little bit farther into the game. Uh, I had a whole bunch of gameplay filmed from the previous section, and uh, it corrupted. Uh, so we're just gonna start here and uh, see how things go. We're in the middle of a mission right now. Grab these guys here. There we go. They'll help us out. Those are some droids that help us. This is like a shotgun here. Not very effective from long range, though. I can tell you what. You can teleport using. Gotcha. There we go. Some laser pistol action here. You guys protect. There we go, got it. All right, so I like the, I actually really like the combat in this game. Gotcha. And there's vents. <laughs> so you have to vent the guns. Each gun vents differently, and they uh, people drop stuff. Oh. Crap. Darn. Crap, is it out? It's out. Darn. Darn! No, 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 no! <laughs> Alright, do I got another gun down here? I don't. Where did my gun go? Shoot. Alright, let's go find another weapon here somewhere. You can fly with this jetpack thing. That's one thing I'm not a huge fan of, is the jetpack. Because you just hit the button and it goes up and you can't move around at all. <laughs> so you can get cool vantage points, I guess. But that's about all that it's good for, at least as far as I'm concerned. Jeez. I need to get the heck out of here and get a gun. Thermal detonator time. Ooh, look at that. That was a perfect hit. <laughs> Alright, let's go get that guy's weapon. If I can find it. There it is. Blaster time. There we go. Oh. Crap, don't explode near me. Darn. Can I not fly right now? Oh, there we go. Gotcha. Alright, let's dual wield some blasters here. You can collect these droids. And uh, they get you credits. There we go. See, like I said, you gotta vent the vent them every once in a while. Can't go. Oh, I can go down there. I wasn't sure if it let me jump all the way that far. All right. What else we got going on here? All right. So let me explain a few things here while we're going along. Your blasters, which look really cool, by the way, go on your holsters and your sides. The indicator in the back tells you how much ammo you've got. When they overheat, you vent it by pulling back on the vent, depending on where you're at. You got your inventory right here, and it floats so you can check it. These are little bots that you can, this is your multi-tool. You can either be a drill, torch, or use electricity. That goes on your chest, or you can put it in your bag. 
Uh, you got different parts here. Let's take one of those, couple of these guys out. These guys will actually help you. Uh, there's a shield. Ooh, this is a shield one. All right, let's do this, shall we? Oh, I just saw somebody up there. What's this here? What did that do? Oh, jeez! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that works. Into the cave system here. Oh, by the way, te teleportation is the only way to jump down from spots like this. Um, you have this wrist communication device. This is the hologram right there. The boss dude will pop up and talk to you. This is your indicator that tells you where you're supposed to go, your HUD, and this is a scanning device you can use to scan different things. Um, let's get this turned off. There we go. <laughs> There's no uh, smooth turning, unfortunately. It's just incremental turning, but there is smooth motion, so that's good. See, there's a there's the boss there. Yep, I got that. Thank you. What is this? Some sort of a horn. Oh crap! I didn't realize there's going to be flying creatures in this. There we go. Keep an eye out for creatures, apparently. Ooh, look, there's a dead guy down there. Ah, oh, crap, they're everywhere. They're coming out of the slime. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, I can scan that, I think. Oh, what's all this stuff? More parts. Oh, this is your uh, spray that heals you, by the way. In order to do that, you keep these on your wrists, and you spray it in your face. What do I got for health? I got a little bit of health lost. Let's see. That's your... Ooh, that's gone now. That's your health bar right there. Normal detonator. That's always good. All right. Now the goal... Let me just scan this dude. There we go. We got a journal entry. Now these... Different crates is what you're trying to collect. So we're gonna take our multi-tool out here, and this is the flame one. So you're gonna to have to f blowtorch this stuff off of there to get this open. And each each one is kind of a different simple puzzle, and I'm they're very simple. So when I say simple, I mean simple. I just got some credits. Okay. 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 Oh, there you go. Okay, there's a remote right there. Let's get that one. Let's get going. Let's do this. Let's see where this leads next. See where we're supposed to go. That way. Okay. I imagine there's some enemies in here somewhere. I can hear something. Sheesh! Alright, that <laughs> scared me. Freaking creepy things. Those are those things like Jabba had, right? I don't even know what they're called. Creepy, though. Gotcha. Freaking creepy creatures. Yeah, go ahead and keep shooting them. That's fine with me. What's this? Another thing I can collect for credits. There we go. Die! There we go. <gasps> Chase! Right beside me! Scared the crap out of me! Holy crap! Come on, let's get out of here. Gotcha. Dodging, but up. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing I don't like about this game. It's okay, but I'm not a huge fan of... Ooh, there we go, shotgun, of the way that the hovering works, because it just doesn't seem to, it doesn't feel like hovering, so you can go up and down, but you can't move, I think I mentioned that already, but. Clock 
collect some stuff. Another one of these. That's got perfect, uh, perfect ammo, but better ammo. All right, where to now? This way? Okay. Nope, can't go that way. Can I, does this eventually vent itself? I think it does. Let's get up here. Oh, crap. All right, here we go. Go ahead and shoot that stuff out there. Those drones should be shooting stuff right now. Let's throw that over there. I don't need that one. All right, let's get my multi-tool out quickly. They can fight while I'm doing this. It's coming around. I can hear it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Come on, let's get out of here. How do I get out of here? There we go. Alright, come on. Let's get out of here, guys. I can hear something. Okay, we're okay on health. Gotcha. Credits? Oh, crap. Oh, there's a droid right there. Oh, crap. Gotcha. Come on. Oh, crap. Got him. Gotcha. Got him. All right. Shotgun time. A uh, crud! Gotcha. Gotta get some health here before I die. Compass on this thing isn't the most helpful <laughs> I've ever seen, I can tell you that much. There we go. Mission complete. Fallen freighter. Okay, I found the freighter. Oops, I got one there already. Okay, good. Alright. I need to take the bolts off of this. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, what do you have to do with this? Hold on. Oh! <laughs> okay. Die, you little junk things. Junk rats, whatever the heck they are. Where are they? Oh. 3PO? It's 3PO. Hi, C-3PO. There we go. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the way that it wants me to go. Yep. Okay. Headed up there. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Where's that guy now? There's stuff strewn all over the place. That's why. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Got him. There we go. Finally, you dingbat. All right. Let's go. Right there. What's this? These things are freaking creepy sounding. Like freaking gremlins or something. Sound effects in this, though, I gotta admit. Sound effects are actually pretty cool. And they're well done. Really well done. I do feel very immersed like I'm in a Star Wars universe with the sound effects, for sure. Okay. Alright. Now where to? What the heck? Oh, they're everywhere. All right, what we got going on up here now? Oops. <gasps> Jeez, son of a gun! 
Oh boy. Let's repair 3PO. Hey, 3PO. I got some parts for you. I'll look a leg. There we go. I wasn't sure I would ever stand again. All right, hand. Oops. Probably needs an arm first. Oh no, hand right there. Okay. There we go. Three PO. Repair that. There. Look at that. You're as good as new. <laughs> I gotta admit, it's very cool to see three PO. Where is he? In there. That's what I thought. Can we push your eye back in. There we go. Darn. Crap. There we go. Oh, crap. Alright, here we go. Oh, crap. Gotcha. Alright, hold on. You know what I can do? Let's take some of these things out. <laughs> Did you just see that? That was awesome. Gotcha. Oh, crud. Come on. Gotcha. <laughs> I love those. I love the thermal detonators. That's where I'm supposed to go? Yep. Okay, good. I gotta rescue 3PO. There he is. Oh, he's dead. I already shot him. Okay. Hi there, 3PO. Now I just want to take literally a minute and show the difference between the Quest 1 and the Quest 2. I honestly was surprised at how big of a difference there was between the two versions. The Quest 2 version, as you can see, is considerably sharper and seems to have a lot more visual detail, especially in the foliage and in the rocks on the ground, but also in the hands and the arms of the character. Another thing to note is the foveated rendering is back for both versions, but it's much more prevalent in the Quest 1 version. This isn't to say that the Quest 1 version doesn't look good, because it does look good for a standalone headset, but the Quest 2 version is definitely a bump up and not just the resolution. Although I really did notice the resolution difference when jumping between the two headsets. Overall, it still plays and it looks fine on the Quest 1, but the Quest 2 is definitely the better visual headset to play it on in this instance. Now let's talk about the game itself. Is this game actually worth the $24.99 price tag? Is it really good? What do I think about it? Honestly, Tales from the Galaxy's Edge is a little bit different for me because I enjoy the game overall as a game. As a Star Wars game, I'm not 100% sold on. I think there are some cool moments in it, but Playing up until I met C-3PO, I didn't really feel like it was a Star Wars game. Yes, the blasters look familiar, and you've got the jumping out of hyperspace, but overall it felt more like a sci-fi space game than it did a Star Wars game. And it's not just because it's missing lightsabers and Jedi robes. It just felt a little bit disconnected from the Star Wars universe. That's not to say I didn't have fun. I did enjoy the gameplay. I like fighting with the blasters, I like the interactions with the environment, and I like the little pieces here and there talking about the Star Wars universe, whether it's mentioning an X-Wing or what have you throughout the story. In contrast, Vader Immortal felt like a Star Wars game from beginning to end, or at least a Star Wars experience. That might have had a lot to do with the fact that Vader was in that, and it did have lightsabers, but even beyond that, I think I appreciate the story better in Vader Immortal than in Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. Is it a fun and entertaining game? Yeah, it is. It's fun to play through. It's got some cool set pieces. The mechanics for the blasters I really liked, so I did have fun playing through it, especially throwing those thermal detonators. Plus, I did really enjoy the sequence at the beginning inside of the spaceship, although it was a little slow at times to really get the story rolling, and I think they didn't utilize the story the way they could have either. It really seemed kind of a watered-down story, almost like the beginning of an overall bigger story 
that was just slow to ramp up. I don't want this to all sound negative because I did enjoy myself playing this game. The reason I'm saying all of this is because I want to get to the point that is this game worth the $24.99 price tag? Well, it takes about three hours to complete the game, approximately, give or take some time. It took me a little longer because I uh, had some trouble with some of the game mechanics with the compass system. It just didn't want to lead me to the right place, which was a little bit confusing at times. But overall, yes, I did enjoy myself. But I'm also a huge Star Wars nerd and Star Wars fan, so I love love everything there is to love about Star Wars. So just the ability to jump into a game inside of the Star Wars universe really made me excited to jump into this game. Although this game is a lot of fun, I don't know that it is the game everyone was looking for in the sense that it's going to attract a massive amount of attention from non-Star Wars fans. I think as a game, it's good. It's not stellar, but it does what it does pretty well, and it's fun to play. As a Star Wars experience inside of the Star Wars universe, I feel like it's a little bit lackluster and not exactly what I wanted it to be. Plus, yes, you finish it in about three hours, but the big difference is there's not any replayability in this game. At least with Vader Immortal, we had the dojos to be able to go back to unlock stuff. And this game really just kind of is a linear story that you go through. There's some side things you can do and some upgrades you can buy. But honestly, once you get to the end, you're really to the end, aside from that extra little piece that you get to play and meet Yoda, which was cool, but extremely short. So at the end of the day, after saying all of that, that probably sounded very negative, I had fun. Yes, it's not perfect, but it is a fun game to play. And if you're a fan of Star Wars or a fan of space games, you'll probably enjoy this game. Is it worth the $24.99? That's kind of up to you. If you're okay with paying $24.99 for three hours worth of content, then yes, go grab it and enjoy yourself. If that seems steep to you, then maybe wait for a sale. For this instance, it kind of comes down to personal opinion. I would pay $24.99 because I love Star Wars, but somebody else might not think that that's such a great deal. All right, I am back in my Jedi duds. I hope you enjoyed this video. I couldn't let these things just sit there and not wear them because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Have you played the game yet? Have you played Tales from the Galaxy's Edge? What did you think of the game? Is it worth the $24.99 price tag? Is the value there for you? What about the gameplay? Did you like that? Let me know down in the comments what you think of the game. If you want to get the most out of your quest and your quest too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down there and the bell icon for notifications. Plus, you can check out even more of my videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and happy questing.